There's the lake. It's big. Wonder if it has fish. I guess we'll find out. It would be so cool if this was like a hidden golden lake. It's the kind of place where they plant goldens, that's for sure. And there's a fish. What do you know? I'm a little high here. Maybe I can present to him. Oh no, that's, oh he's going, oh he's going to the surface. Oh, there's a bunch of them, and I just spooked them. Whew. Yep, they're in here, and I just spooked them. That one over there looks like it's the biggest. Let's see if I can get in front of them. Nope, behind them it spooked them. Oh, there's a small one. Don't want that one, though. And they're spooky. Okay, got them. See what it is. Let's see what it is. If I lose them in the rocks, that'd be no good. He's all tangled now, and it's a uh, brook trout. Okay. Another brook trout lake. Now we know. Although, it almost looks like, let's see here. It almost looks like a Dolly Varden. But nope, 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 there it is. That's the telltale sign. The blue, the red, within blue spots. That's a brook trout. And, well, that was cool. Well, I've only got the one fly on. So, I'm gonna take a break, put the dropper on, drink a little bit, and then uh, see if, any, if there's anything bigger in here. Rookie. Now these, uh, these are maybe slightly bigger than the, the other ones. Don't twist the way that, don't twist that way. You need to twist this way. There you go. <sighs> so I'm gonna eat a little bit. I'm uh, feeling a little peckish. And uh, I'll probably fish here for 20 minutes and then head down to uh, Spillway Lake. Um, I wanna be closer to the trailhead around four o'clock. So Spillway, you know, I, I've, I've fished Spillway plenty. I know, um, I know it well. I know, um, you know, I could stay there till five o'clock and still be able to hike out because the trail's right there. Um, I don't know if I stayed up here this late with all these rocks and, and how steep it is down there, um, you know, with, in dim light, I think that would be a little bit challenging. So, uh, eat, fish 15, 20 minutes, and then head down to Spillway. Um, Spillway, now the interesting thing about Spillway is the bigger fish are always on the western side of the lake. And that may have been the case back there. Um, I, you know, I didn't really 
test that, but um, that could be the case. I mean, it could be the case that, that they were the bigger fish were on the other side of the lake, but um, you know, I don't see myself coming up here that often. And seeing as there's a second un, unnamed lake that was a mystery, um, you know, how could I pass up coming up here and, and checking it out? So now I know. I don't know, that might be. Oh, yeah, that bottom one. There's three fish there. That bottom one looks like it might be slightly bigger. Ah, spooking them. Okay. It's turned away from me. I'm going to drop it to its left. Let it sink. No! Don't want that fish taking it. I want this fish taking it. There. It's right on top of him. He's going for it. He grabbed it. Great. And where am I going to land him? Ugh. Uh, a little bit longer. Yeah, just a tad longer. Snaky though. Yeah, I'm gonna go eight or nine inches. That's probably the biggest fish I've caught all day. Hey, that was a decent fish. If I can find one or two more like that, um, and then uh, make my way down to spillway. Could be a bigger fish. Ah! And I spooked him, right? Nope, got him. Not bad, about the same size as the other. Again, a little snaky. Well, this one's a lot snaky. Okay, so it's just after 3.30 and I think I better be heading back. Um, The way down to Spillway Lake is, I don't know, it's gonna be steep. Um, yeah, I don't know. The map makes it look really, really, really steep. Um, but it's only about a mile from here. And if I can hit Spillway, I can, um, I can hit the trail from there. Um, I'll fish Spillway a little bit because Spillway has got great fishing. Um, it's got a, a good population of browns and brookies. I've caught browns to 10 inches, brookies to 14. Um, I haven't seen a 14 inch brookie there in <sighs> easily five or eight years though. Uh, but it's an absolutely beautiful lake. So, I think if I fall this way, fall this saddle all the way down until it gets steep, I think that'll take me to where I want to go. This is beautiful country, and I suspect, you know, it's a part of Yosemite that most people don't see. You know, everybody goes to Tolly Meadows, um, Cathedral Peak, into the valley, Glacier, uh, Glacier Point, you know, but there's so much of Yosemite to see. Say hello to the scrub. Hopefully I can navigate around the worst of it. The lake is on the other side of this mound here. And you can see how it just sort of, boom, just drops off. Um, the lake is directly behind here. Uh, you can get to it from that side or this side. 
that side looks a little bit steeper not much just a little um, I prefer going that way but it's steeper so I'm gonna go this way the reason I say I prefer going this way because that'll put me up at the top of the lake and then I can fish down on the way out instead of getting put in at the bottom of the lake having to walk up the lake and then fish back but I think this is going to be the safer route. The thing I haven't mentioned is this is just one huge tarn. I mean, um, you know, if you're coming in here early in the season, it's going to be mosquito infested. Even now, I mean, it's really soft, almost peaty. 